You're sitting in a classroom watching this strange short film on television. How do you know for sure that you're not just at home in bed dreaming it? How can you be certain that everything you think you know, the chair you're sitting on, the room around you, everything that you're so certain that you can see, hear and touch, isn't just a figment of your imagination? What if the TV you're watching now is no more real than the image of this beach is a real beach? How can you ever know for sure? And if you can't be absolutely certain of something as fundamental as the reality of the world around you, then what can you be certain of? If you've ever wondered about questions like these, then you've already started to do philosophy. I'd always had uh, an interest in other sorts of questions, um, other ways of thinking, and I read a lot when I was a teenager and when I was um, coming up to leaving school, but I didn't really know that, I didn't really know what philosophy was. When I, when I was accepted onto the course and we were all discussing what we were going to be doing in college, it was sort of the reaction was sort of like English and what? When I told my parents that I was going to do philosophy in Trinity, they were shocked and horrified, but mainly because they didn't quite understand what philosophy entailed. Philosophy is the most fundamental of all disciplines, taking nothing for granted, calling everything into question, unique in both its methods and the range and depth of subjects it covers. To study it is to open and to sharpen the mind. A degree in philosophy in Trinity College Dublin will give you the space, the depth of teaching and the opportunity to mix with other students. It will allow you to develop a set of mental tools useful in any other intellectual discipline to cultivate the ability to see things and understand people from outside the prison of conventional and unquestioned ideas. But you're also doing that in this incredibly beautiful, very uh, atmospheric campus that's right in the middle of the city. The great thing about philosophy is it's not about learning a whole lot of dates or regurgitating loads of books that you have to read and remember. It's about trying to have some original uh, takes on things that, that are your own. Pretty much transformed the way I think and I was kind of amazed at myself, the transition I made. A degree in philosophy makes you feel very comfortable in those kinds of circumstances where you have to debate or argue with somebody, where you have to put your point across. Like it's not a soft thing, it's, it's, it, it's also a kind of, uh, it gives you a kind of weapon. I always get a sort of a smug feeling that I have an edge when I get into arguments in a pub over, you know, over a table and we're all we're just debating matters of existence or, or even just of daily life. You have this intuitive sense that there is something that's not right about what someone is telling you, which is useful in, in all kinds of things. Business, it, it's massively useful, but also in your personal life. I suppose that I'm a person who asks questions all the time. That's what my career as a journalist um, requires me to question everything that I see. It was there in a very nascent form when I came in, but it definitely developed while I was a student of philosophy. You get to read and encounter some of the cleverest and most original thinkers. It's like having a conversation with a room full of the smartest and often most um, iconoclastic and original and unconventional thinkers. 
Philosophy is the rigorous and systematic attempt to find answers to the most fundamental questions. Questions about the nature of existence, consciousness, knowledge, justice, meaning. It forces us to confront and strip bare the assumptions and preconceptions that are so buried in the way we ordinarily think that for most of us, most of the time, they're invisible.